Well, if you have moments to downtown Ray Mello, you're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Monday, July 13th, 2020, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mello, that's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O, on Twitter at the Enter Report, or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend. Actress Kelly Preston, who played dramatic and comic foil to actors ranging from Tom Cruise and Jerry Maguire to Arnold Schwarzenegger in Twins, died Sunday. Her husband, movie icon John Travolta, said she was 57. Travolta said in an Instagram post Sunday that his wife of 28 years died after a two-year battle with breast cancer. Travolta said, it is with a very heavy heart that I inform you that my beautiful wife Kelly lost her two-year battle with breast cancer. She fought a courageous fight with the love and support of so many. They had three children together. Preston had a lengthy acting career in movies and television, appearing together in films with her husband as they did in the box office movie Battlefield Earth in 2000. Preston starred opposite Kevin Costner in the 1999 film For the Love of the Game and in 2004 appeared in the music video for Maroon 5's She Will Be Loved. She had frequent guest starring roles on the TV series like Medium, CSI Cyber, and Joey. Preston and Travolta were married at a midnight ceremony in Paris in 1991 while the couple were expecting their first son, Jet. In 2009, Jet died after a seizure at the family's vacation home in the Bahamas. The death touched off a court case after an ambulance driver and his attorney were accused of trying to extort $25 million from the actors in exchange for not releasing sensitive information about their son's death. Travolta testified during a criminal trial that ended in a mistrial. He was prepared to testify a second time, but decided to stop pursuing the case. He cited the severe strain of the case and his son's death had caused the family. Both Preston and Travolta returned to acting with Preston's first role back in Nicholas Sparks' adaptation of The Last Song, which starred Molly Cyrus and her future husband, Liam Hemsworth. They had two other children, daughter Ella Blue in 2000 and son Benjamin in 2010. They, star, they last starred together in the 2018 film Gotti, with Travolta playing John Gotti and Preston playing the criminal boss's wife, Victoria. Preston's death was first reported by People magazine. Travolta wrote on Instagram, Kelly's love and life will always be remembered. I will be taking some time to be here for my children who have lost their mother, so forgive me in advance if you don't hear from us for a while. Please know that I will feel your outpouring of love in the weeks and months ahead as we heal. Actress Jada Pickett-Smith confirmed on her Facebook Watch show that she dated singer August Alsina during a temporary split from her husband, actor Will Smith. Pickett-Smith said on Friday's episode of her Red Table Talk series, It's a situation I consider private. This is a very personal journey that became very public. Four and a half years ago, I started a friendship with August, and we are actually became really, really good friends. She said, telling Smith and viewers her romance with Alcina took place during a difficult time in their marriage. Smith said, I was done with you. Pickett Smith says, we broke up. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time. From there, as time went on, I got into different kinds of entanglement with August. Pickett Smith shot down reports claiming Smith gave Alcina his blessing to date his estranged wife. She said, the only person that can give permission in that particular circumstance is myself, explaining Alcina eventually broke off the relationship and she and Smith worked things out. Smith said, we came together young and we were both broken in our own ways and to be able to make mistakes without the fear of losing your family is so crish, uh, critical. Pickett Smith says, yes, it's the idea of any relationship and trying to get to deeper understanding of love is going to be forged in fire. The couple married in 1997 and have two children together. American Horror Story co-creator Ryan Murphy and Bloomhouse are producing a film based on Stephen King's novella, Mr. Harrigan's Phone, for Netflix. The Blind Side, Saving Mr. Banks, and the Highwaymen director John Lee Hancock is on board to write and helm the project. The story is about a boy who finds he can communicate with the dead via cell phone as part of King's If It Bleeds collection, which was published this year. No casting has been announced for the screening version. 
King's Creepy Tales has become the basis of numerous films, television series, and remakes in recent years. Among the most popular have been Dr. Sleep, It, Mr. Mercedes, The Outsiders, and Castle Rock. Led by Jason Bloom, Bloom House is a production company that specializes in horror films, such as The Invisible Man, Get Out, and Halloween. Writer-producer Karina Adley McKenzie has announced she will not return for Season 3 of the CW sci-fi romance Roswell, New Mexico. McKenzie tweeted, I have made the difficult decision to resign from my role on Roswell, New Mexico. I obviously don't take this decision lightly, but ultimately due to fundamental differences, I must depart and entrust Roswell, New Mexico to capable hands. I'm so proud of what we've built over the last two years, and I believe in the heart and soul of the show. Asking tough questions, striving to make the world better, amplify marginalized voices, and fight the good fight. Last month, Mackenzie had voiced on social media her outrage regarding how the show's gay sex scenes were edited when they aired in the United Kingdom. The Hollywood Reporter says the announcement that she was leaving came amid tensions with the show's production company, Warner Brothers Television, the writing team, and its lead actress, Janine Mainson. But Mackenzie denied most of it in her tweet. She said, the decision has nothing to do with any of the cast, crew, or writers. I love them in an epic forever, handprints on my soul kind of way. Warner Brothers confirmed McKenzie's exit in a statement, explaining Karina Ali McKenzie has departed as executive producer, co-showrunner of Roswell, New Mexico. The third season of the series will return to the CW as part of the network's 2021 mid-season uh, lineup. Co-starring uh, Nathan Dean Parsons, Michael Blemaus, Lily Cowles, Tyler Blackburn, and Heather Hemmons. The show is about space aliens living as humans in a titular town. It is a remake of a series that ran on the WB and UPM from 1999 to 2004. California's Ventura County Sheriff's Office shared video footage of the equipment being used to search for missing actress Naya Rivera. The 33-year-old Glee alum was boating with her 4-year-old son Josie on Lake Pira Wednesday when she vanished. The child was wearing a life jacket when he was discovered alone and sleeping on the boat. Search parties have been looking for Rivera since. Officials said Thursday they were treating the search as a recovery mission, not a rescue. Uh, Ventura Chief County Service Officer Captain Eric Bischoff told reporters during a press conference on Friday, Unfortunately, they did not locate Naya Rivera. They are still searching. We don't know if she is going to be found five minutes from now or five days from now. Later in the day, the, sheriff in, uh, the sheriff's department tweeted a video of the machine used to look for Rivera's body. Um, the post reads, here's the ROV used by a titular sheriff in the search for Naya Rivera at Lake Piro today is one of the many resources being used, along with side scan sonar, dogs, and divers. Another video showing a portion of the murky lake with a large tree branch below the surface. Here's an example of the underwater visibility at 30 foot deep in Lake Pira. Josie is now with his father, River, Rivera's ex-husband, Ryan Dorsey. In a related story, Naya Rivera's family visited the California lake where police and volunteers have been searching for the former Glee and devious actress's body. Officials said Thursday that they were treating the search as a recovery mission, not a rescue, and the actress is presumed to be dead. Um, ABC producer Anastasia Williams posted a photo on Twitter Saturday captioning, The search continues for Naya Rivera. Aventura's sheriff told press that this man and woman are Naya's mother and brother. Her mother is kneeling on the dock with her arms outstretched towards the water. An unnamed source told People.com, Naya's mother and brother have been at the lake every day since Naya's disappearance. They have been in constant contact with the sheriff's office and involved in the, in the search. On Saturday morning, they joined the search on a sheriff's boat. TMZ says Rivera's father and her ex-husband, Ryan Dorsey, were also at the lake Saturday. Hollywood icon Ashraya Ray and her daughter Adri Haya have tested positive for the coronavirus. 
Azraya's husband, Abshik, tweeted Sunday, Azraya and Azradia have all tested COVID-19 positive. They will be self-quarantining at home. The BMC have been updated on their situation and are doing the needful. The rest of the family, including my mother, have tested negative. Thank you for all your well wishes and prayers. An announcement regarding the 46-year-old Bride and Prejudice, Divas, and Judah Akbar actress's health was made hours after Abshi and his father, Amtab, also Indian film stars, confirmed they tested positive for the virus and were expecting mild symptoms. Abshik wrote on Twitter Sunday, My father and I remain in hospital till the doctors decide otherwise. Everyone, please remain cautious and safe. Please follow all the rules. India is experiencing a spike in coronavirus cases with a total of 867,020 reported as of Sunday. The death toll is 22,762 in 8th place worldwide. Um, Amitabh's career dates back to the 1970s and includes performances in The Great Gatsby, Zanjir, and Cholet. Avshik has acted in Doom, Run, Yuva, Shakar, and Kabi Avida Nal Akena. Benjamin Kanoff, the son of musicians Danny Kanoff and Lisa Marie Presley and grandson of rock and roll icon Elvis Presley, has died at the age of 27. Kanoff's sister is the Lodge actress Riley Kellogg. TMZ reported he died from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound Sunday in Calabasas, California. Presley's representative told ET Online, Lisa Marie is completely heartbroken, inconsolable, and beyond devastated, but trying to stay strong for her 11-year-old twins and her oldest daughter, Riley. She adored that boy. He was the love of her life. On Friday, Valentina Stampiello became the first transgender woman to be featured in the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit issue. The 23-year-old Brazilian model became the first openly transgender model for Victoria's Secret and in 2017 was featured on the cover of French Vogue, becoming the first transgender woman featured on the cover of a Vogue edition. In a personal essay on the magazine's website, Sampaio, who grew up in a fishing village in northern Brazil, wrote that she was grateful for the opportunity. Quote, my intentions is to honor that as best as I can. Being trans usually means facing closed doors to people's hearts and minds. We face snickers, uh, insults, fearful reactions, and physical violations just for, in, uh, for existing. Our options for growing up in a loving and accepting family, having a fruitful experience at school, or finding dignified work are unimaginably limited and challenging. Sports Illustrated launched in 1954 and started publishing as an annual swimsuit edition in 1964. The swimsuit issue has several breakthrough moments. In recent years, last year it featured a Somali-American woman, a model, in hijab and burkini. And in 2016, the magazine put a size 16 model on the cover of the fir for the first time. Sports Illustrated editor MJ Day says, Our goal in selecting who we feature is centered around identifying some of the most inspiring, interesting, and multidimensional women that we can find. We are deeply moved that Valentina will, was willing to put her trust in us. We didn't think twice about wanting to amplify her voice and message and give her a platform to advocate from on behalf of her personal aspirations in the trans community. Actor Army Hammer has announced on Instagram that he and his wife, Chopped Sweets judge Elizabeth Chambers, have split up and plan to divorce. Hammer captioned a photo of him and Chambers smiling together in a car, 13 years as best friends, soulmates, partners, and then parents. It has been an incredible journey, but together we've decided to turn the page and move on from our marriage. As we enter into this next chapter, our children and relationship as co-parents and dear friends will remain our priority. I understand this news lends itself to public dialogue, but in the interest of our children and our family, we're asking for privacy, compassion, and love during this time. Hammer and Chambers have been married for 10 years. They are also parents of Harper Grace, 5, and Ford Douglas Armand, 3. Singer-songwriter Darius Ruckert has announced that he and his wife Beth are divorcing after 20 years of marriage. Rucker wrote on Instagram on Saturday, Beth and I would like to share that after much reflection, we have made the decision to consciously uncouple, remain close friends and parenting parents, and continue to be each other's biggest cheerleaders. 
My priority will always be our beautiful family. We have so much love in our hearts for each other and will continue to encourage growth and expansion in one other. Please be kind as we take this journey and we thank people for your love and support always. The couple married in 2000 and are the parents of Daniela 19 and Jack 15. Photographer Brooklyn Beckham, the eldest child of celebrity couple Victoria and David Beckham, has announced he is engaged to actress Nicola Peltz. Uh, Brooklyn, 21, captured an outdoor photo of him and his new fiancée gazing lovingly at each other. Two weeks ago, I asked my soulmate to marry me, and she said yes. I'm the luckiest man in the world. I promise to be the best husband and the best daddy one day. I love you, baby. The post has got more than a million likes since it was shared on Brooklyn's Instagram account early Saturday. Peltz is 25, wrote in a message on our own feed. You made me the luckiest girl in the world. Uh, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life by your side. Your love is the most precious gift. I love you so, so much, baby. And thank you, Harper, for this nice pic. The couple have been dating for about 10 months. Fashion designer and former Spice Girls singer Victoria Beckham celebrated her son's happy news on social media, too. Victoria wrote, the most exciting news. We cannot be happier that at Brooke and, uh, Beckham and at Nicola and Peltz are getting married. Wish you so much happy and a lifetime of happiness. We all give you both so much at David Sorry, Beckham, I'm not sure. at Romeo Beckham, at Cruz Beckham, hashtag Harper7. Victoria Beckham and soccer icon David Beckham are also the parents of Romeo17, Cruz15, and Harper8. And finally, Rapper Little Baby's My Turn is the number one album in the United States for a fourth consecutive week. Coming in number two on the Billboard 200 chart, dated Saturday, is Lil Dirk's Just Cause You All Waited Two, uh, followed by The Baby's Blame It on Baby in number three, Post Malone's Hollywood's Bleeding in number four, and The Weekend's After Hours in number five. Running up the top tier are Harry Styles' Fine Line in number six, Paul G's The Goat at number seven, Little Uzi Vert's Eternal Take at number eight, Drake's Dark Lane demo tapes at number nine, and Future's High Off Life at number ten. And as you entertain a report for Monday, July 13th, 2020, I'm your host, with the Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainer Report with Ray Mello. That's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O on Twitter at the Enter Report or on Instagram at the Entertainer Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Good night, and God bless you all. <laughs>